Today we're going to give you an introduction to a Sony Ericsson technology called Project Capuchin. The vast majority of Sony Ericsson devices today support both Java ME and Flashlight. And both of those technologies, of course, have uh, pros and cons. The good side of Java ME is, of course, that you have access to a long list of, of JSRs, meaning that you, get, you can build applications with lots of intelligence. And the bad side of Java ME is that it's not a good technology for building um, uh, user interfaces. And the main reason for that is, is because you don't have access to uh, good designer tools. The, uh, the, the good part about Flashlight is, on the other hand, that you uh, have access to excellent tools for building uh, interfaces. And it's the main technology used for building uh, uh, beautiful graphics with. The not so good part about, about Flashlight is then that it's, it's a technology, at least on, on most, most wireless devices, it's a technology that is, that is contained by, by itself and it's not getting access to intelligent from deeper down into the phone. So the short definition of Project Capuchin is a, a, an API that is bridging Flashlight and Java ME, meaning that you get the best of both worlds from those two technologies. The tool that is dedicated towards the Java ME developer is a tool that is it's a plugin for the Eclipse environment that we refer to as the API designer. The API designer is, is the piece in the tool chain that the, the Java ME developer used to define the bridge between the Java ME and the flashlight piece in an application. And the output of this tool is the MXP. The last part in the tool chain is the Swift to Jar tool, which the application developer uses to take the Swift file and package into a Jar file. And by doing that, you then get the best from Flash together with the best from Java. And the final piece that comes out of that tool is then the, the Capuchin application that is ready to be installed on the phone. As part of the Capuchin SDK, we also provide a long list of tutorial documents and developer guidelines, as well as reference applications that are described in the, uh, in the tutorials. All of these documents, as well as the uh, tools and the reference applications are available for download for free from the Sony Ericsson Developer World site. Please keep an eye on the Developer World site as we will be launching new documents and tools in the future. Thank you for watching.